Hey everyone, it's Lori from Scraps by Sissy. <laughs> Are you ready for some shenanigans? Because it's been a long time since I've gone live and I'm not so sure this is going to work out well. Um, well, it could go really well or it could be a train wreck, you know. It is what it is. So, here we are. Um, hi, I know it's been a long time, hasn't it? We had a stamp club in November and Thanksgiving and then I had all my issues with my back, which thankfully is getting better. So, yeah, um, you know, life gets in the way. Hi, Beth, how are you? Thanks for joining me. I'm trying to find the video on my laptop so I can try and keep up with stuff, but... You know, that doesn't always happen either, so. <sighs> okay, so today we're going to play with, oh, there I am, with the Christmas Every, Everywhere kit. Let's see, let's make this bigger so I can see what's going on. Okay. Um, it's an all-exclusive kit that went live in September, and I had originally planned for this Facebook Live uh, back, um, shoot, it was way before Thanksgiving, so it, this didn't happen, so it was prepared, and I thought, well, you know what, there's people that still haven't gotten their um, Christmas cards done, so let's take a look. Okay, first of all, it's a Christmas card kit that makes nine cards. Uh, let's see if you can see these. They're pretty basic Christmas cards. The kit to me, the stamp set, had a very retro feel. Um, I, I liked it. It's simple, so you make sweet and simple cards with it. Um, we used the stamp set at my November uh, stamp club. This is the stamp set. As you can see, the basic Christmas tree and just a few of the sentiments and these are part of the panels that go on the cards these cute little die cuts I mean come on Christmas cactus <laughs> who doesn't love that and then these Christmas trees we're actually going to use one of those today oh I guess I could have used one of those too huh I just may may change things up on my design and then of course the um, palm trees and here are the labels the colors in the kit are Granny Apple Green, Sweet Sorbet, and Pretty Peacock, my favorite. And these are the card bases from the kit. And then, of course, I'm going to cut some of them up. And the envelopes. So, I'll show you what we did. And I'm going to keep this out just in case I want to add extra stuff to my alternates. Oh, this ink spot in it is Lost Lagoon. Let's see, I'll set this aside. And hang on half a second. I gotta turn my heater off. It's right over my head and it just blows right down. And you know, with personal summers, you really don't need a heater going. So this is the, alter, or the alternate we made uh, at Stamp Club last month. It's a, a pretty simple fun fold, my one, one, and one that I got from another demonstrator. Um, isn't that cute? And then there was the inside. This sentiment is from the Brightest Glow stamp set. And the paper is from the Mary Bold and Bright Designer Series paper pack along with a piece of that Melon Mambo um, foil. The foil comes with Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green. I think it's still available. This Designer Series paper, Mary Bold and Bright, is no longer available, um, So, which is exactly what I'm using today. Go figure. But if you've got it at home, you can always add this kit to your arsenal. And even if you're done with your Christmas cards for the year, you can get them going for next year. So these are the three cards we're going to make today. Here's the first one. Here is the second one. That poor little tag keeps slipping. I'm going to have to put a mini glue dot on that. And this is using both of the, all of them, I've cut the card bases down. 
and added a piece of designer series paper from the Mary Bold and Bright. And then this one, I think this is my favorite. This card is really good for those that have um, friends that live in warmer climates. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Fun, fun, fun. So let's get started. We'll start with this one first. And I'm going to have all of the measurements on my blog post. Um, they are already on there. I got my blog post done this morning. And like I said, I had these cards designed weeks ago. So bear with me as I go through these. I'm trying to remember what I did. <laughs> I know, even if I just did them today, I would still have issues, I'm sure. <laughs> So this card base is cut at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have one of the card bases cut at five by three, and we're just going to add that right to the card base first so that we know where everything is at when we get ready to stamp. Normally I stamp before I add things. Not on this one. Okay, this piece is two and three quarters by five, and you're just going to tear this in half. You don't have to be um, easy with it because you're making snow drifts on it. So I'm going to add this to the card front. Uh, let's make sure this is going to fit before I do that. <laughs> uh, we just want the Merry Christmas. Make sure it fits on this, and it does. Okay, in fact, I'm going to make sure that it does, and I'm going to glue this one on first. I mean, you know, why throw, throw gas on the fire? Because since it's been so long, there's no telling what I'd end up with. Okay, so we'll glue that down. I'm going to go ahead and use... Oops, there went all my stamps. <laughs> I told you there was going to be shenanigans. Oh, bless her heart. Okay, I'm going to use the Pretty Peacock, and I'm just going to stamp this right down in the corner, just like that. Okay. Don't you like that font? It's very simple and clear. And we'll add this to the card, just like this. And see how that gives it the snowdrift effect? So now I'm going to stamp that tree as soon as I pick it up off the floor. <laughs> and I'm just going to stamp, in fact, I'm going to mix the trees up this time. And we're going to add another one over here. Okay, I'm going to add some of these other trees in here. Why not? Change things up a little bit. And then I'm going to put in one of these little ones. Don't they remind you of the trees you drew when you were little? So I'm going to stamp that one there. And this one right here. Oops. Okay. Ooh, I thought I was going to halo there for a minute. Let's close this up. And this is one of the die cuts. We're going to add that right smack in the middle with some dimensionals. And the kit does come with dimensionals and mini glue dots. And we'll add him right there. That way you don't have to watch me cut the uh, stamp and fussy cut that. I'm looking for my ribbon. Hang on. This is that silver and white ribbon that was in the mini catalog, and I believe it's going forward. So we're just going to tie a quick bow, hopefully. Okay. And pull his leg. Come on. There we go. I want to make it a, kind of a small bow. Of course, it's not going to work the first time around. <laughs> hey, Janine, how are you? You couldn't find me, huh? Well, you know you're going to find me eventually. I don't stay gone for long. All right, let's get this bow tied. Come on. Uh, I knew I should have tied these ahead of time. 
Okay. And then pull him tight. There we go. And with that bigger tree, I don't have to worry about it being real small. Now let's cut his little legs. I love this ribbon. Oops, let's kind of make it, try and make it even, Lori. Okay, so we're going to attach this with a mini glue dot. It's a nice big fat mini glue dot. Okay, come on. Let's try and make this a little bit neat today. Har, har. Okay. So that bow sits right there. Isn't that ribbon pretty? And now I'm going to add a couple of the silver, um, what are these called? They're adhesive back sparkle gems. And it's right here in front of me. I'm going to add just a couple of them up here. And I'm going to put one right on the top of the tree. Let's put a little one on there, right there, so that it looks like a tree topper. There, isn't that pretty? Let's get that out of there. Oof, it's so pretty. Okay, so the inside, I have a piece that's a half inch by five and a half. And I'm just going to add that. Let's get this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to add this at the bottom. And then I'm going to stamp the sentiment from the kit. It says, Warm Wishes. Now you could absolutely use one of the envelopes from the kit. Or you could use our... Oh, that's not very straight. <laughs> oh well, handmade. Um, or you could stamp one of our white envelopes um, to match. So isn't that cute? I like this die cut better than the original one that I did. Yeah, much better. And I like those trees better too. Cute, 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 cute. All right, one down, two to go. All right, the second one, the card base, again, is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. It's in blueberry bushel. One of my favorite colors. Oh, let's put this guy away because you can see where that would end up. And you know what? I forgot my blueberry bushel ink pad. Ah. <laughs> you really didn't think I was going to get through this smoothly, did you? No, 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 no. That never happens. Even when I've been doing this a while. Bless her heart. Let me go grab that ink pad. Hang tight. Luckily, it's just a short walk across the studio. Okay. I definitely like this blue better than Pacific Point. And trust me, I was a Pacific Point girl. Okay, so we've got our card base. Now, I took one of the card bases from the kit, and I cut the front and back at four by five and a quarter. And we are not going to add that to the card base yet. And I have two pieces of that Mary Bold and Bright designer series paper cut at two by five and a quarter. And we're going to add this to both pieces because one's going to go on the inside as you always want to try and get your inside to coordinate with the outside tie it all together okay there we go add him in here just like that all right okay so this one i'm going to take that same tree and I'm going to, hopefully we're going to stamp right over those two trees. This is the panel from the kit. It's kind of hard to, I don't want to get my head in the, the shot. We're just going to go for it. Yep. Oh, well. Handmade. I'll try this one a little better. Oh, much better. <laughs> we'll do something to that to hide that. Okay, and I'm going to stamp the snowflakes all around. No, I'm not. I'm going to stamp my trees first. So I stamped the trees in Pool Party and in Granny Apple Green. And let's see, we're going to do the big one in Pool Party. Is the mess on my desk driving you nuts like it is driving me? Oof. Okay, 
let's do this. We're just going to stamp one here. We're going to stamp one here. Oh, I should have stamped off. Oh, well. And then Granny Apple Green. We're going to stamp the little spindly one. We'll stamp him here. And we'll stamp him here. And that's all I need that for. Now we will stamp the snowflakes. And that's right here. We're going to stamp them in the blueberry bushel. And they're just going to be stamped random. That Those two are pre-printed, obviously. All right. And then I want to stamp my tag right here with Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm not being a very good host. I'm not... Uh, looking at all the comments. Sorry. <laughs> it's that whole chewing gum and walking thing. Uh, all right. So Merry Christmas. All right. Looks pretty good to me. Okay. Now we're going to add this to the card front with dimensionals or to that layer. And then we're going to add some more of that ribbon before we attach it to the card base. Let's see. There we go. Try and contain my mess. So this is going to go over just like, come on, get in there. <laughs> it's a little sticky. There we go. Close enough. Now I want to add some adhesive. Now where you end up putting the ribbon, you might want to add extra adhesive. That ribbon was slipping out of, from underneath my layer. I was having to take it apart and redo it. So I'm going to make long, uh, longer ends to attach into that adhesive. I'll do this like this up here, that way. There we go. Nope, because that sentiment, you see how I'm talking to myself? <laughs> I give myself the best advice. All right, let's bring this back down a little bit so that the sentiment label does not cover up the trees. All right, there we go. Tuck him in. Let's put a little more down here. It's probably because this ribbon is so sheer is why it kept slipping. At least I'll go with that. All right. Now we'll add this to the card front. Flip this over this way. That granny apple green and the blueberry bushel just go so well. Right up there with yellow and blue. Right, Janine? Okay, now this guy we're going to add with dimensionals. And we'll put that right there. I'm going to press it down. may need to stick some mini glue dots under there. Now I'm going to add a faux bow. I'm just going to slip this under that piece of ribbon. Like so. Oops. And then just tie a knot. And then, maybe, there we go, good deal. I'm going to cut it straight so it looks more like a bow. Okay, now I'm going to add, did I put rhinestones in here? Probably not. <laughs> Why would I have done that? <laughs> I was typing at my blog post and I thought, oh yeah, you'll remember. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so let's add some rhinestones on the snowflakes to make those snowflakes sparkle. And 
Oh, that's right. On that other card, I stamped the snowflakes over the green ones. Oh, well. I hope I leave enough for the last card. Okay. Oops, we missed one. This is probably a card with all of these rhinestones that you'd want to put um, an embossed layer on inside your envelope so that it doesn't squish your envelope over the rhinestones. Let's put the two big ones on the end. There. Now that's a blingy card. Okay, so there's the front. Now the inside, we have this. I have this layer here. Maybe. Okay. You know what? Rather than stamping and coloring, let's put one of these other trees on. Like this one here. Put that on the inside layer. Just like that. And that'll bring the green from the card base. And we put warm wishes again. Let's fix that warm a little bit. Hopefully that's straight. Does that look straight? Yeah, straight enough. All right. And we'll stamp that right there. We'll add him to the inside. With the way things are going, I'm a little petrified of that. This last card, me and I got to cut the card base. <laughs> oh, wait a minute! <laughs> uh, for good reason. Okay, so we'll layer him there, and add him to the inside. Oh yeah, I like that die cut better. Much better. Let's get this out of the way. Don't end up putting an elbow in it. Look at the two insides. I like this one better. What do you think? All right. So we'll set this aside. Two down. One to go. Okie dokie. So. Move this out of the way. Let's get the, the trimmer out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the card base on this is four and a quarter by 11. It is scored at five and a half. And we are going to trim off two inches. Put these aside over here. And let's make sure we do this going the right way. We know how that has played out in the past. Right, Beth? And you said, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> okay, so because we have the numbers on the trimmer. I can see right where I'm cutting. So I'm going to come down to the two mark right there. Okay. Now we'll flip this over and I am going to get that out of the way. Come down and stop right at the five and a half mark and close enough there we go hooray <laughs> oh I just pictured all kinds of disasters with that let's trim off that little teeny piece right there that's probably asking for trouble huh okay so when I originally did this I cut the card base two and a quarter by five and a half. But I didn't like the way this green edge played here and then you had the red, so I cut this down to two by five and a quarter. What am I looking for? Oh, this right here. So that it gives more of the illusion that it's one card layer on the front. So we're gonna come in and lay this in. Oh, we want this up at the top though. Like that. Okay. All right. We're going to work from the inside out. I'm going to glue this down. This is also a piece of the Merry Bold and Bright. And I'm going to glue that. And it's two 
by five and a quarter. Okay. We're going to stamp. What did I put on the inside? Merry Christmas. Of course. Where's my Merry Christmas? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> uh, I give up. All right. We're going to stamp our Merry Christmas. Right. That looks kind of like it's got some blue in there. Let's go ahead and clean that a little bit before I stamp. Okay, let's try this again. So we'll stamp him right there. Beautiful. Now I have the cactus. We're going to glue him on here. If I can pick him up. And we're just going to add a little bit of adhesive and stick him down right here. Isn't that cute? I don't know if you can see on camera, the little um, stickers on the cactus are in Pretty Peacock. Okay, so we'll add him to the inside. And just like so. I guess I should be checking to make sure this is all in the camera. <laughs> okay, so now that does look like one, one layer there, doesn't it? All right, so now we want to add our label, and we're going to put warm wishes, which that's perfect for the warm areas, which is not here today. It's pretty chilly out there. Okay, so stamp that there. All right, we're going to add him with dimensionals. Gonna add him right up towards the top a little bit. Okay. Gonna add mini glue dots just to the trunks of the tree. Because part of the um, palm tree is going to hang over the edge. And we don't want to glue the card closed. One, oops, here's another, okay, pick him up, whoops, all right, so we're going to add him here, yep, just making sure it's doing what I thought in my mind, add him here. Now, my rhinestones, I wanted to mimic the dots in the tree, which are little glitter dots. So my rhinestones, where did I put my rhinestones? Let me put them over here. Oh, they're right here. I'm going to color them with the dark um, Sweet Sorbet Stampin' Blends so that they match. It's one thing I like about our Stampin' Blends. We can make rhinestones or ribbon. Some of the other embellishments can match anything you're doing. All right. So we'll come through here and add one here, one here. And I got a lot of them there, don't I? So, we'll add a couple here. Just go crazy with the rhinestones, Lori. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put them kind of in the middle of the palm tree. And we'll call it good. And we're done. So you see what I mean about this border of green? Pick it up. See the difference? I like this better. What do you think? Okay, we did it. And it wasn't quite that painful, do you think? <laughs> you never know with me. Holy cow. Now, next week is my stamp club. So I won't be back for live. And then the following week is getting ready for Christmas. I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the last one for the year unless I do a pop-up. 
And then my plan is to change my uh, Facebook Live from Thursdays to Tuesdays. I think what I'm going to do is change it to Thursday at 1 in the afternoon so that it frees up my Thursdays more for prepping for classes and that kind of thing. So we'll see how that all plays out. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. At least that's what's in my mind. <laughs> oh, bless her heart. So what do you think? I thank you so much for spending time with me today and being patient while I get back into the groove of things. I definitely like the cards I did uh, live versus the ones I did a couple weeks ago getting ready for this. Yeah, I definitely like these better. So have a great rest of your afternoon. Um, like I said, thanks for spending time and uh, I hope you guys are just about ready for Christmas. Have a good one. Bye.